guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skin Crew. we're back so this is the extended version of the mid-month um, reading so this is for September the 11th um, and on so I've already uh, reviewed the September um, reading um, and the main message I got from it was that you know we're in the eye of the storm um, and so mid-month reading is kind of showing that we are coming out of the eye of the storm and we're starting to move into more positive uplifted energy um, and for some people it looks like there's a you know a union that will be happening but definitely um, a rebirth um, and a new start here okay so I have the Osho Zen deck, so I'm going to pull a card for each position. Um, we'll look at the card and then um, combine that with the uh, confirmation cards. Why can't I talk today? Okay, so let's pull the cards. check in a bit to make sure that all the cards are on camera here. Pretty sure they are. Okay, and so from the bottom of the deck we have comparison, five of swords. So in my deck I have somebody pointing the finger and triggering. Okay, so comparison. Um, this is somebody comparing themselves to another person, right? They're, and realizing that um, you are very special in your own way. So let me just look here at the description. Oh, wow, I opened it right to the page. Okay, so I'll read a little bit. So this is the updated energy. Uh, and that would be coupled also with the hangman, okay, surrendering, letting go, of control, seeing things from a different perspective. Okay, so comparison. Um, comparison brings in inferiority, superiority. When you don't compare, all inferiority, all superiority disappear. Then you are, you are simply there. A small bush or a big high tree, it doesn't matter. You are yourself. You are needed. A grass leaf is needed as much as the biggest star. Without the grass leaf, God will be less than he, he is. The sound of the cuckoo is needed as much as any Buddha. The world will be less, will be less rich if the cockadoo disappear. Just look around, all is needed and everything fits together. It is an organic unity. Nobody is higher and nobody is lower. Nobody superior, nobody inferior. Everybody is incomparably unique. Okay, so um, yeah, what I'm feeling strongly with this is, you know, you are taking the masks off, right? The, you're allowing the personality to fall away um, and realizing that, you know, oh my gosh, you know what I just realized what this is? Um, for the last Twin Flame reading, I named it uh, nothing compares to you. So, you know, for both aspects, there is a feeling like, you know, there's nothing out there that compares to this, um, this person, you know, that touches my soul. Wow, that's freaking crazy. And with the surrender, 
um, you know, you're just releasing your concerns, your worries, um, and falling into this knowing. Okay, so for the masculine emotional space, we have the Ace of Cups going with the flow. Nice. So more water. Okay, so the past position, um, the King of Cups, the King of Water, um, it was is really just kind of floating down the stream of love. Um, just allowing the current to take him where he needs to go, right? Um, he has made a decision to pursue love, right? Because this would be the old, the main energy, and this would be the confirmation, right? Um, the Two of Swords represents indecision, but we can see here that he surrendered to love. He fell into this energy of love and released himself emotionally from that crossroads. So the future we have a movement forward. This is leaving all the bullshit behind, the baggage behind, right? The King of Cups would never hold on to pain from the past. He's very emotionally balanced, which is why, you know, it allows him just to surrender Alright, let me just look at the card here. That's a beautiful energy to be in emotionally. If I can't find it right away, maybe we'll just continue on. Uh, shoot. Oh yeah, that's right. They're at the end. Okay, so... Going with the flow, the figure in this card is completely relaxed and at ease in the water, letting it take him where it will. He has mastered the art of being passive and receptive without being dull or sleepy. He is just available to the current of life and never a thought of saying, I don't like that, I prefer to go this way. Um, every moment in life we have a choice whether to enter life's waters and float or try to swim upstream. When this card appears in a reading is an indication that you are able to float now, trusting that life will support you in your relaxation and take you exactly where you, it wants to go. Allow the feeling of trust and relaxation to grow more and more. Everything is happening exactly as it should. That's, that's awesome. All right, so mentally, he, wow, another ace, ace of pentacles. Now the ace of pentacles is what he's holding in his hand. That's what is that, that intention that he's carrying into the future. And so that's coupled with the four of cups, 10 of wands, throat chakra. So mentally, um, he is letting everything go. I see him going through this, this fire, right? Rising like a phoenix and speaking up. So where there was disconnect, um, non-movement, there is now a completion of that, throwing that baggage away and focusing on this new start and, and speaking as well, communicating. Oh, wow. So 11. Okay. So the distinction between the grass and the blossoms is the same as between not knowing that you are a Buddha and the moment you know you are Buddha. In fact, there is no way to be otherwise. Buddha is completely blossomed, full, fully opened. His lotus petals, oh, sorry, his lotuses, his petals have come to a completion. Certainly, to be full of spring yourself is far more beautiful than the autumn dews falling on the lotus leaves. That is one of the most beautiful things to watch when autumn dew fall, fall on the lotus leaves and shine in the morning sun like real pearls. 
But of course, it is a momentary experience. As the sun rises, the autumn dews start evaporating. This temporary beauty cannot be compared, certain, there's that word again, compared. Certainly with the eternal spring um, in your being, you look back as far as you can and it has always been there. You look forward as much as you can and you will, you will be surprised. It, was the, it is your very being. Wherever you are, it will be there and the flower will continue to shower on you. This is spiritual spring. Wow, so there's this beautiful surrender coupled with this blossoming, this blooming, this coming out, this growth, right? And again, nothing compares to you, to your inner self, to, to your soul. Nothing is as beautiful. Wow, so mentally, we got that ace. Okay, so um, spiritually we got the Two of Swords, okay, so um, this is a split mind, okay, but this card also talks about letting go, right, you can see that person is kind of holding on to this cliff, right, and there's also two little birds up in the corner there that are free, floating around, so spiritually, um, He's letting go, surrendering into love. And if you hold the cards like so, it's like he's falling into the twin flame connection, into um, true love and happily ever after, into this fire of passion and attraction. Right? So, you know, the Nine of Cups, like I mentioned earlier, is that, um, you know, feeling like you've arrived emotionally. You felt connected you felt whole, you felt like your dreams came true. So that goes along with the King of Cups and also the Four of Wands that showed up. Um, the present is uh, the Lover's card. This is a very spiritual card, Twin Flame, recognizing your Twin Flame, feeling that passion, that strong attraction for them, right? And then the Queen of Wands in the future. So spiritually, he's being drawn towards the feminine light um, but you know and, and what I'm feeling with the two swords is he's um, made the decision to fall into this spiritually all right and so uh, visit wow physically we have the knight of cups so again falling in to love trusting, um, not having any expectations, um, just accepting love and not, you know, just, and, but also this card represents moving forward, right? So you're making a decision to go for it. So physically, in the physical realm, he want he is the Knight of Cups, moving forward towards love, trusting in love. Okay, so when you look at the confirmation cards, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Hope card. So there is this strong sense of communication, um, loving communication, movement forward, truth, truth being spoken um, in regards to how he felt in the past. You know, there's, there was this home, this love. Um, that he desires, right? And so he's moving into uh, the star card, which is healing energy. Um, and it's a promise of happier times to come. So physically, he is in a love space and he wants to open up. And by doing so, it's... But he's also hopeful of the future as well, right? And in doing so, it's like he's falling into his fantasy, not fantasy, but his dreams coming true. There's so much clarity about his future. Um, but again, you know, the Knight of Cups is a longing energy. It's wanting something. But at the same time, I just keep on seeing this surrendering and letting go, allowing um, the current to take you, right? And just flourishing. 
All right, so the soul is a freaking another ace. Oh my God. The ace of swords, consciousness. Oh my God, because the magician is consciousness, right? This is activation of the self-conscious mind and it's like pure consciousness, awareness. But the magician wants to do something. This is more of like a fool kind of energy, right? They're just pure consciousness potential. All right, so because it's another ace, let's go ahead and look at that. Oh, God, did I miss it? Yeah, oh, here we go. All right. Consciousness. We come from the unknown and we go on moving into the unknown. We will come again. We have been there through, sorry, we've been there a thousand times and we will be here thousands of times. Our essential being is mortal, but our body, our embodiment is, is mortal. Our frame in which we are, our house, the body, the mind, they are made of material things. They will get tired. They will get old, they will die, but your consciousness, for which Buddha Harma uses the word no mind, and Gautam, Gautam Buddha has also used the word no mind, is something beyond body and mind, something beyond everything. The no mind is eternal. It comes into expression and goes again into the unknown. The movement from unknown to known and from known to unknown continues for eternity. Unless somebody becomes enlightened, then that is his last life. Then the flower will not come back again. This flower that has become aware of itself need not come back to life because life is nothing but a school in which you, to learn. He has learned the lesson. He is now beyond delusions. He will move from the known for the first time, not into the unknown, but into the unknowable. Crazy. And so this consciousness is coming from the hermit, who is an enlightened spirit, who is completely detached. He goes on, on a spiritual journey in search of his truth, right? Uh, the king of fire, also spiritual, um, very powerful. And then the third eye chakra, right? Right there, activated consciousness. So spiritually, his spirit is powerful, um, full of wisdom, detached, and aware. The feminine emotional space coming to the past, or sorry, clinging to the past. Okay, so in the past we, we saw the moon, the four swords, um, you know, the six of swords is the energy she's in for the month. So emotionally, uh, the feminine's been blocked. All right, and the message to this card is to put down that box, your blockhead, you're holding on to things that don't matter. All right, so emotionally she's kind of... Um, Yeah, she's holding on to some things. But she is trying to find clarity with the Ace of Swords. Um, and returning, you know, if you look at the, the card like this, it's like, you know, in the past there was so much fun. We were in love, we danced, we played, right? And you're holding on to those thoughts with the Page of Swords. You want it to grow, you want it to, to flourish, right? So the message of the, of the card is to let that go, right? And and not to worry, because in the future the page of fire is coming. And so this is excitement. It's great news. It's a new beginning. Mentally, we have the seven of cups, projections. So the seven of cups is. You know, speaks of illusions, fantasies, um, but also 
you know, you're, you're putting thoughts and ideas in somebody else's head. Um, you know, you're projecting your own bullshit into the world, into the reality. So mentally, again, she's got that box on her head. You know, she feels maybe she didn't do enough. Maybe she felt there was too many things in the way. She's very hesitant with the Page of Cups to, you know, think about love or think about starting love. But in the end, you know, this all this stuff goes away. She completes the fool's journey and begins again. So let's look at this card here, the Seven of Cups, Projections. You know, this is the main lesson that Twin Flames have to deal with, right, is projections. Deal with your, your own internal stuff um, that comes up, right? Uh, all the triggers are meant to help you grow. The man and the woman in this card are facing each other, yet they are not able to see each other clearly. Each is projecting an image they have uh, constructed in their minds, covering the real face of the person they are looking at. All of us can get caught up in projection and projecting movies of our own making onto the situation and people surrounding us. It happens when we are not fully aware of our own expectations, desires, and judgments. Instead of taking responsibility for them and owning them, we try to attribute them to others. A projection can be devilish or divine, disturbing or comforting, but it is a projection nonetheless, a cloud that prevents us from seeing reality as it is. The only way out is to recognize the game. When you find a judgment arising about another, turn it around. Does what you see in others really belong to you? Is your vision clear or clouded by what, uh, by what you want to see? So I think there's, there's a message here, again, to clear the smoke, clear the air, again, and you put down that box, right? So I'm almost wanting just to have a look at this one. I don't want to read the whole passage, but just some excerpts. Okay, so another emotional card. Don't have to go very far. Okay, so... Um, the figure pictured in this card is so preoccupied with clutching her box of memories that she has turned her back on the sparkling champagne glass of blessings available here and now. Okay, so her nostalgia for the past really makes her blockhead. So it's time to face up to the fact that the past is gone and any effort to repeat it is a sure way to get stuck. Okay, so yeah, emotionally and mentally she is replaying or rehashing something that may have happened in the past and she may blame herself for it as well she might be holding on to guilt and maybe that's why she's finding it hard to let go and move on um, but she's also realizing you know nothing compares to you what I'm seeing with this card is that mirror reflection the twin flame mirror reflection there uh, so physically, she is the justice breakthrough. Physic, wow, and that coupled with the all this fire here, right? Um, the solar plexus is fire, the sun, and the magician is air. And um, justice is, uh, is also air, but we, we, we see this explosion, this bursting out of... Um, a cage in her physical reality. Major Arcana. Oops. There we go. So, the predominance of red in this card <laughs> um, indicates at a glance that its subject is energy, power, strength. The brilliant glow emanates from the solar plexus, oh my gosh, um, or a center of power on the figure, and the posture is one of exuberance and determination. 
all of us occasionally reach a point when enough is enough. At such times, it seems we must do something, anything, even if it later turns out to be a mistake, to throw off the burden and restrictions that are limiting us. If we don't, they threaten to suffocate and cripple our very life energy. If you are now feeling that enough is enough, allow yourself to take the risk of shattering the old patterns and limitations that have, been, that have kept you, your energy from flowing. In doing so, you will be amazed at the vitality and empowerment this breakthrough can bring to your life. Wow, so physically she's breaking those freaking chains and becoming self-aware. There's so much power and illumination here and activation, action, um, um, major attention after she breaks out. That's beautiful. Okay, she's breaking the chains mentally and emotionally but this is really affecting her in the physical whatever she's doing in the physical um, has her chained mentally and emotionally okay so spiritually she is the nine of cups laziness though now <clears throat> um, the nine of cups is where um, oh, over here with the masculine in the past. Oh, wow, and it's both in the spiritual position. So you both got the Nine of Cups in spirituality. But this is the main energy, Nine of Cups. Okay, so this could talk of, um, you know, your wishes and dreams coming true. You feel um, full, full emotionally. You know, you're surrounded by people that you love. Uh, you're doing what you love. But in this card, it shows somebody who's very lazy, who's sitting back, who is becoming complacent. So spiritually, the feminine, ah, that's kind of hilarious, because when you look at the cards, spiritually, you were the knight of fire, blasting forward, very powerful. You had a goal in mind. Um, and then in the present position, we have you slowing down to almost a stall. Right, but then um, moving back into the ethereal um, with the high priestess. Right, so you know, this is like um, a kick in the butt from the universe saying, Come on, get your butt back in gear. Um, uh, awaken yourself once again. You're, you're focusing too, many, too much on the past um, and what has transpired, right? That it's kind of dulled your pursuit of what it is that you really desire. Okay, You had it all. You felt like you had it all at one point, but um, you kind of stumbled and fell, all right? Don't see this as you know a ne negative mark on your scorecard this is beautiful um you're recognizing how you're recognizing your triggers you're recognizing what you need to release and you're literally doing it as we speak and so the soul we have the four swords postponement the four swords um, is retreating, it is resting, um, you know, calming the mind. The Six of Swords up there is the same thing. Okay, so what I feel very strongly again is that this card is a reflection of projections, right? Um, you see the world out there as beautiful and alive and vibrant but you are unable to be a part of that inside you know you're lo you're locked inside that prison um right here oh my god you're locked inside a prison you're looking out you feel blocked emotionally you feel like you have no help but here help comes okay um your soul is crying out it needs to be released get in there already so 
yeah, um, I don't want to, well, you know, okay, why not? I'll just read a couple little quick excerpts from that. Okay, so this card also, you know, talks about postponing things. Why postpone things when you can do it right now, you know? So the woman in the picture is living in a gray landscape full of unreal cutout clouds. Through the window frame, she can see colors, light, and aliveness. And although she would like to move through the frame, as we can see by the rainbow colors appearing on her garment, she can't quite manage to do it. There's still too much what-if activity in her mind. There you go, activity. Um, there's still, or sorry, tomorrow never comes, they say, but no matter how often we, it is said, it seems that most of us tend to forget uh, the truth of it. In fact, the one and only result of postponing things is a dull and depressing feeling of incompletion and stuckness today. Uh, the relief and expansiveness you will feel once you put aside all the disturbing, sorry, dithering thoughts that are preventing you from acting now will make you wonder why you ever waited so long. Okay, so again, laziness, feeling stuck, holding on to these thoughts and negative emotions um, is coming to an end. You're breaking free of that. Your consciousness is literally opening up and you, you should be able to feel this vibration in the physical. You know, this rush of energy, this, this you know, beautiful, happy, joyous, um, connected feeling. Right, and the justice card is also about positive karmic energy as well. What you put out, you get back. Wow, this is so beautiful! I love it. All right, so I'm going to pull two final cards from um, John Holland, Psychic Tarot. I've been using this for a long time. Okay, so two final messages, please, Spirit, what are, you, what are your final messages? I'm just looking at the cards as I'm shuffling, see if I've missed anything. So to recap, we got this beautiful surrender. Remember, the overall energy is letting go, surrendering for the masculine, falling in to love. We got three aces. Okay, and then on the feminine side, we have... Um, her feeling trapped, holding on to negative thoughts. Okay, so this card showed up when I was trying to recap the feminine, so let's just see what it's saying. Okay, so with the Nine of Pentacles and Material Harvest. So again, it's pointing to this financial, finances and career. Um, maybe some feminines out there are really having a difficult time with money. You know, and they feel that they don't have it all, but material harvest, abundance, completion, finality, you know, is there for you to have. You just can't see it right now. Okay, so I'll read that for the feminine. Okay, and for the masculine, a card, please. Hope, the star card. Nice. So what I like to see with that is the masculine holding the feminine light in his hand, realizing that she, you know, is that very special light. Nothing compares to her. And he holds her, you know, so gently and lovingly. So I'll read his first then. Forget how this works. Oh, yes. Okay. All right, so for the masculine, your mid-month energy update, um, advice from the universe. This card, um, this is a card that focuses on qualities of hope, faith, healing, aspiration, success, and finally enlightenment. When this card appears, know that a special wish you've made may be fulfilled in time. The hope card will help you sh will help show you that the impossible can indeed become the possible. The force that works through your soul determines 
um, determining, sorry, turned it way too quickly, determining what's possible and the difference between success and failure, and above all, who we are is the power of your belief. So again, remember how the masculine was holding that ace of pentacles in his hand, that intention, right? We got these three aces here. Okay, so this card serves as a reminder to use your natural ability of intuition, the language of the soul, as you reach for your goals and desires. The future can be yours when you have hope and trust in everything you do. Soon others will be attracted and drawn to your inner light. Learn to share your experiences and lessons, for those around you will also realize that by having faith and pushing forward, um, where one may have felt no hope, at all is a key to success. Above all, maintaining a positive attitude starting right now, this very minute, will allow your soul to soar. You'll discover an opportunity to shine as you reach for the stars. Reach for the, star, the stars. And again, that feeling of, of soaring. Allow your soul to soar. Holy crap. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles for the Feminine. Material Harvest. One of the laws of the universe is what you sow, you reap. This card states that this is your time to reap the harvest you've worked, um, you've worked for and so rightly deserve. This last physical card denotes self-mastery, self-sufficiency, independence, security, the art of enjoying what you've survived, uh, strived for. You've done the hard work, learned the lessons along the way, and used them to prosper in all areas of your life. The number nine is also, also means endings. Not that good fortune necessarily stops, but um, do honor yourself as you finish up and, or celebrate the completion of a project. This would be the perfect time to look ahead and use the wisdom you've gained to think about what else you want to achieve. Consider smart investments and ponder ideas that show profitability potential. Congratulations on your success, you've earned it. Okay, so um, you've already earned that success. Remember, you're bringing the Ten of Pentacles into the future, that completion you're there but for some reason you you still feel like you haven't achieved that success so again with the nine of pentacles um, this is self-love take a vacation treat yourself to something nice right? and enjoy the abundance that's in your life all right so I do hope you enjoyed this um, my Instagram link isn't working currently. I uploaded my art videos uh, with music attached to them. So um, it is, I guess, disabled for a little while, but you can still access my account if you've been following me. Um, uh, or I think if you type in my name up in the bar, search bar, so it share all. Um, share hope all sorry um, so please do follow me on Instagram because I'm always giving updates uh, and also I'm putting out small little readings um, to the public they're just like short minute or two readings um, and also please like share and subscribe and please comment guys let me know what you thought of this reading um, for me this is one of the most powerful readings that I have ever experienced. Uh, there's so many synchronicities. This blew me away. The, the fact that he's surrendering, you know, with the um, hangman up there, and same thing with you. It, it's just, it was a really powerful reading. So please do comment. Um, I do value your opinion. And we will see you uh, October 1st for your next um, energy forecast. Um, but I'm also going to be doing the twin flame reading shortly as well. All right. Cheers.